It is another week indeed have passed. My first week back back to work has passed and it was uh it was quite a mess. <laughs> it was a mess coming back. But everything leveled out. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, but anywho, hope everyone's uh, week has been good. I know um, Deadpool Wolverine, as much as it was or has been marketed out the ass, understandably so. Uh, I hear good things about it, so I will check it out myself, hopefully during like a weeknight when nobody's around. <laughs> I actually tried, but uh, it, was, it was still crowded, um, even at the latest... Uh, show, uh, showtime during uh, like Monday or Tuesday. So, uh, I will try to check it out as soon as I can next week or this coming week, I should say. Uh, but anyways, we got stuff to talk about. Um, there, there is a bit of a uh, what do you call a revisit? I like to um have us do for at least the fighting game stuff because otherwise there really isn't stuff to talk about for fighting games um you know we we had evo you know it, drop all that stuff so understandably longer cooldown you know gotta gotta um you know uh make you know manage our our, our skills and stuff like that you know <laughs> abilities and skills can't use too much right Nah. You, can't, you can't heal too much, or you can't buff too much, or, uh... Nah, fuck it. <laughs> we go. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta heal at this moment, and then, oh, when the boss swings his tail around, you gotta hit, um, shield. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just very being very, uh, stereotypical with MMO stuff. But anyway, so... Yeah. Um... We did also have, like, a big news drop right when we ended the show or rather we didn't we weren't able to fit that in because it was already long enough anyway so either way we couldn't talk about it but well, we will talk about it today which is of course the whole robbie robert robbie robert downey jr <laughs> yes robbie uh -huh. <laughs> robbie downey jr <laughs> as dr doom we'll talk about that and uh zenland zone zero because they had uh they had a live stream and uh, therefore, new stuff is coming for that game. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. This battle is about to explode. All right. So, fighting game news. Um, not really news, but we're just going to talk about these two. But first, I wanted to... Um, oh, it took a, it took a bit, but... All right, there was a picture from Evo, you know, of Justin and Daiko shaking hands, and somebody just had to edit the the parry like thing from Street Fighter Three or Third Strike, and Justin's just just not. He's like, no, it ain't no way, bro. <laughs> oh man, thank you, thank you, Raito, for that edit. That's great. This is great. I like this. I like even the score <laughs> tech bonus, two thousand points. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> Justin just can't take a break or catch a break, right? Nope. Every everything Justin does has to get parried. Man. Uh, but speaking of Twitter, hold on. Let me let me uh go ahead and tweet it out because I almost forgot. Um. But yeah. Uh, from what I understand, I think we forgot to mention this too, was that Daigo and um, Justin got the award for like impact on the FGC or whatever, and then there are also um, the Canon Awards. Uh, for I believe, um, Sherry Genix, um, female fighting game player. Who also has been working with like uh, visas and stuff for people to be able to fly here to the states, so that way they can get a chance to you know make a name for themselves in the FGC. So that's really cool. 
um, and other people I'm, I'm failing to remember, but yeah, I remember back in the day, it was, um, during my e first Evo, that was when Max was, um, up and coming and he got the Canon award for, um, you know, being an influencer of sorts for, for DFGC, right? And um, I remember the story behind it was so funny because he was even there because he didn't even know. He was literally just out walking uh, Benny at the time with uh, JJ, his wife. And um, he didn't even know. Like, we had to tell him, like, hey, you just won an award. Like, this, this fucking cannon award. He was like, oh, shit. And then, you know. Get your <laughs> ass over here. Yeah. And he, like, ran down and... Uh, he got the award and uh, he wound up sitting next to us the rest of the finals or uh, Sunday finals. So it was quite the it was quite the moment. It was definitely quite the moment uh, at Evo. That was my first Evo too. All right, I was like, oh shit, damn man. We're already having stories here, man. Uh, so yes, um. That's sort of my, uh, I guess, connection. That's the perfect gift. Um, sort of like connection connection I have with the can Canon Awards. <laughs> that happening. But yes, of course. Congrats to, of course, uh, Justin and Daigo. I know that's a little late, but yeah, nonetheless. But man, the man just cannot get a break, right? <laughs> Justin just cannot get a break. But I'm sure he embraces it. You know, because that is a way for him to stay popular and relevant, I guess. You know. <laughs> and of course, Daigo is like, the, I love that Daigo is the one that's like getting the good end of it. And then Justin's the short end of it. Uh, for Justin. For Justin. Um, Yeah, anyway. So, I thought I'd share that because it was uh, pretty, pretty hilarious. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about that we didn't really touch upon was Heihachi making a comeback for uh, Tekken. We kind of like glossed over it, like we did mention it, but we yeah. definitely glossed over it in comparison to um the other characters that were revealed around that time. Yeah. And then let me just go ahead. Um, I think this was it. Yeah. <laughs> I live, bitch. <laughs> I like this uh, meme right here. Someone drew um, Heihachi over like the actual like original meme or whatever of like of, uh, of like I, I, I think it was some like old dude texting or something. It was like a meme saying "I live, bitch" <laughs> when he's in the hospital bed or something. But yes, um, Heihachi is coming back for the fall portion of the season. Pass. Um, and there, there has been a bit of controversy in a way because he's supposed to be dead. And, you know, even Harada said he is completely dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then he, and then this, this happened and, there, and everyone's like, you liar. <laughs> you liar. liar. <laughs> Complete liar. <laughs> Complete lies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then even JDCR was like, "Really? That's like, that's his tweet." And they got like yeah. almost almost ten thousand likes and stuff. And then uh, Rod is like, "Yeah, yeah, that's real, real. That's all he said. It's just real." Um, yeah, <laughs> basically, make a quote. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically how it uh how it happened. Yeah, everyone took up his word for it that he was complete, completely dead. <laughs> you know? Hard, hard quotes, right? But he's back, right? The old man is back. And uh, I did want to share a clip, at least, from his reveal. Um, and it does raise the question, right? When it comes to fighting game characters. But that's uh, after we check out his voice. So I'll just play right here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Right. Um, first off, I like the voice that is replacing, yeah. you know, the previous two. I mean, um, you know, they both passed away, uh, including, of course, uh, their most recent one with um, Ishizuka, I believe his name was. Uh, he he was uh, Kizaru from One Piece. He was Professor Oak from Pokemon. So big names, obviously, already. A lot, and a lot more characters. You know, sadly, he passed away. You know, as he voices uh, Heihachi as well. And then now we have a new voice actor that is actually doing pretty cool, uh, pretty good, I think, as Heihachi. I think he was a, he was a great replacement. Um, forgive me, I do not know his name right off the top of my head. Um, but I believe... Um, let me see. Heihachi. Second A. Um... Let me find his name real fast. Um, yes, this guy right here. Um, that's funny. So when he's dubbing actors, he's dubbing um, Ben Diesel and The Rock. That's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Imagine that voice, the Heihachi voice, on either of these two. That's so funny. Um, let me see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. What's a good site? <laughs> um. I guess we'll do this one behind the voice actors. So he has previously voiced. Uh, oh no, it's he. He's also voicing M Bison, right? Another big major um, fighting game villain. Right now, as of the, as of right now, he is voicing him and Heihachi at the same time. That's that of itself is crazy. Um, I think both Heihachi and um, which I'm called. Bison. Um, bison were were in the same room, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the same hospital room. And yes. They just looked at each other. <laughs> ready, the, ready, yeah. ready. You first. Yeah. <laughs> you, first. <laughs> you first. Exactly. Yeah. He's also voicing Naga Ryuki. So a number of uh, fighting game characters actually. Uh, Draken Joe for for those who are watching Eden Zero. Boreas, if you if you played uh, Genshin Impact, he's the big big wolf that you can fight for your weeklies. He voices Nail right now, Rouge from One Piece, and oh, uh, Leonard from Fire Force for those who watch that, Vulcan from Pro Mare, Omega for Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, yep, good old Sonic. Lu Su in Dynasty Warriors. Ibiki from uh, Naruto or Slash Boruto. He it... never showed up again. <laughs> I, yeah, I think, I've, man, he does not show up enough, I feel. I mean, he does ish in the, you know, the, fi the final Ninja War, but it was right. like, hi guys, okay, bye guys. I know, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't show up enough. Um, let me see. <laughs> yeah, M. Bison and uh, Wreck It Ralph. That's funny. You definitely, if you notice, right? He voices like men, like big men or like just men, you know? Oh, he's he's also rude from um, Final Fantasy. Bald guy wearing his versus suit and sunglasses. <laughs> oh man. Um, oh, Zomari from Bleach and Edrad, Edrad, um, same show. Garouge, yes. Um, yep, so voices, uh, you know, tends to voice like the very, like, masculine men, you know, manly men. Oh, he even voices Venom in the uh, Spider-Man 2. So there you go. 
no, so we are Venom. It's just we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah but you, you, I was like, oh god. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you just got to get out of there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so funny that he is voicing both Bison and Heihachi at the same time. So he has to go back and forth between Capcom and Bandai just to like do his job. But yeah, that's kind of how it goes for voice acting, right? Um, so I I feel like he's a good replacement though. Do you, do you uh do you feel that way? What do you think of his voice as of current? He's he's gonna have fun. Mm-hmm. He's going to have fun with the story for sure because, again, he's supposed to be dead, but he's back after all that sort of anticipation and build up and whatever, right? Um, so it does raise the question that I was trying to get to as I was trying, as I was kind of distracted with the voice actor thing. But do you feel like, you know, do you feel like his comeback was welcomed? Do you, do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Uh yeah because like you know when it comes to fighting game characters are they truly dead like you know what i mean like you know <laughs> they're comic book characters at this mm-hmm. point yes pretty much i mean what's your take on that because i know people have been kind of like saying stuff like oh and bison should have should not have come back because um that means nash's sacrifice was for nothing right um because he's, mm-hmm. he's dead for sure he's like dead dead but then you have and Bison come back, so it's like, you know what I mean. And then you have this right with Heihachi thrown into the fucking volcano like so many more to- um more times, and he's gotten blown up and like all this stuff, and he's still coming back. He he literally was thrown into the lava, and then he and there he is, right. Probably the way he survived was. He has some, uh, what you call? Oh, devil gene. Some, yeah, some of the devil gene to keep him alive, but it's not like potent like his son and grandson. Maybe. Well, the thing is, is that the devil gene came from his, the mom's side um, with yeah. um, Azumi, and uh, perhaps. Hey, <laughs> Probably the fluids. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! I knew you're gonna say that, dude. Someone had to say. It. Someone had to say. It. <laughs> What's this? Are, are, are you at a rave or something? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how the fluids they they go like that and they go. It's a rave, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what they say about. That's what they say about dancing, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. What what I mean, what what is your take on that? Because you know what I mean. Like, is death even a thing? And do you, like I don't know. Like, do 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 you do you find this like something you like or dislike or, you know? I mean, to be real, eventually he was gonna return as a mm. DLC. Mm-hmm. But is he really gonna? And apparently, with this, he's going to impact the story. Yes. Pope Reina just shows up. We're like, "Hi, Dad!" It's like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty much. So, so you think is like. It was eventually going to happen. It was the inevitable. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was inevitable that he was going to return. Because, again, he's like a fan favorite. Yes. Yeah. Now, what about for M. How... Bison, though? I was going to ask, like, what about M. Bison and such? But M. Bison, well, you ca- he kind of has a leeway because, you know, he makes clones of himself and all that jazz. True. True. And the reason why he made the dolls and whatnot was, hey, I need, he was pretty much Orochimaru. It was like, mm-hmm. I need another body. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> this body's decaying. Jump to the next one. This that body's is... decaying even yes. faster. Jump to this one. That is true. So in a sense, he does have an excuse. Now, what about like Geese Howard? Like, do you feel like when he comes back, like, is that something excusable? Because none of that is on his side, right? Well, he's supposed to be dead in uh, Fatal Fury. 
but in KOF, that's a separate thing, I guess. So he's around. But and because um Fatal Fury is coming up, right? If he comes back, it's like, you know, are you gonna have or are you gonna be like, oh well, I mean he's supposed to be dead, so blah blah blah. Like, I don't know. Like do do you feel anything from that or Uh, if Geese shows up, he he probably gonna be um be like, "Hi guys, I'm back." And <laughs> mm -hmm. you just see Rock going like, "Ah, oh, it's it's you. Where's my money?" Mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> just like closes whatever portal he he opens. Like never mind. But yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> I don't know, with, with Geese returning, probably be just DLC, you know, just, just not just the DLC. Story. You would think so, right? But we'll see. Yeah, yep. we'll see about that. Yep. Yeah, but in the, yeah, yeah. Now, personally, I do like he uh, Heihachi, so like, I was happy that he's still like, you know, um, relevant, right? In a lot of people's minds, because obviously he's like one of the most iconic video game characters to a degree um especially for fighting game characters because you know he's like he's like the one of the ultimate like old man tropes right uh the old man but badass trope you know like the fit old man especially and so um i thought it was just for the most part more funny when i first uh saw this you know, during Evo, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> right. And then, um, uh, whatchamacall. It will be interesting to see how it happens or how, how they're like going to explain that he lives. Um, what's interesting though, if you look closely on his chest though, is that he does have some sort of like fist shaped scar, right? I guess it appears periodically because in the uh in this artwork it doesn't show up here it just has like a bunch of little scars right here but not the fist sh uh, scar on his chest so he is kind of like luffy in a sense right because luffy has that really nasty burn that scar from the marine ford battle right um yeah. so i thought that was interesting that they, they uh put incorporated that maybe that'll be his like heat rush thing like when he does when he's in heat rush mode he will have the scar on his chest and he's like all steamy and you know has that shit eating grin on his face and everything um yep. i guess their excuse is that he burns hotter than anything maybe so that's why he lived <laughs> his soul you know <laughs> like soul caliber but um no um I think it's just Heihachi. I think he'll never truly die in, in Tekken, at least. It's funny, though, because, like, um, the memes around Heihachi, a lot of them is, like, Steve Harvey because of his big old thick mustache. Yep. Yeah. Especially in this shot, anyway. But I think in here, I don't know, it might be, might be just, like, a... It might be the same, but I don't know. But he has a, he has a nice healthy thick mustache that's why he gets compared to um steve harvey which is i think is really funny also kind of weird because here he looks younger right but in here he looks like you know what you expect from hihachi like gray hair old ish you know muscular all that stuff i think it might just be the cinematics and stuff like that it might differ a little bit from the in-game whatever and i mean it probably is a new treatment you know so lava, from the lava uh, you know, <laughs> yeah you got yeah. the treatment yeah rejuvenate yourself mm -hmm. in lava mm -hmm. and and die yeah it's kind of like how like you know like uh onsen in japan very popular in japan um the hot spring bath right for for average people right that's like their way of rejuvenating themselves but he needs the lava to get rejuvenated because he's that tough. He needs something stronger. He needs something stronger. Exactly. Exactly. 
So I think there is a bunch of hints more than meets the eye in these like shots because yeah, he, he's like steaming. He's like hot, right? He's like reddish. And then not to, again, like the fist scarf shows up here too. Uh, but yeah, like, um, oh God, this, this pause screen right here. It looks so funny. <laughs> the mustache too really shows up. But now like, um, one of his outfits for sure has to be this. The monk outfit right here. It's already in the game anyway. Because because this is the in-game engine right here doing its work. So we'll definitely see this as the other costume. Pretty interesting because he has his hair down. So that's like the only time you get to see that. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Like, when you watch this part too, it's like, oh... It has to be Heihachi because of the way he moves and stuff, the way he attacks. It has, like, it has to be Heihachi, right? And then there's Reina, of course, blah, 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 like, you know. Uh, any comment on this outfit, though, Zawa? The monk outfit? Wood. Wood? <laughs> you like the mask and everything? Okay. Yeah, mask stays on. Yeah, mask stays on? Yeah, of course. Interesting, though, he has his, like, warrior monks, right? Yep. Following him. I wonder, though, in this sh scene, does this mean, like, did, did he lose the temple? Or, I don't know, this is, like, a different place or something. I hope not, because that would mean that all those monks are dead or gone, or I don't know. I mean, but they might have just did the whole, like... Okay, everyone, cult sacrifice, let's go. Cult sacrifice, you think? Hmm. <laughs> that fucking smile, man. <laughs> yeah. New stage also, of course. Looks really cool. I like the background stuff that's happening. Right. Looks pretty sick. I like it. Yep. Right. Um. Yeah. For sure, this this has to be a new stage. So, um, yeah, this part right here, the monks like doing their like ritual thing, their daily routine stuff. Um, of course, not only we get Heihachi, we get a new chapter in the story too, which heavily does involve with Lydia as well. You know, karate stuff like that. You know, um. You know, you gotta glaze up the, the new DLC character somehow, right? Including Eddie, right? Um, Lydia's just gonna, um, like, run up to uh, Heiachi and they're like, You are um, banned from entering my country. And then just walks away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so either way, he is back. The, I uh, is he the originator of the old, badass old man in fighting games? I don't know, but he definitely popularized the trope for sure. So he is the third one. Who will be the last one? I don't know. Who the hell knows? It's, it's got a chain on it. I don't know if that means anything. I don't think it does. No, but. We got one more character, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. We got no more character, nonetheless. We don't know. Yeah, maybe a chain could be could mean something. I don't know. No idea. But welcome back, Heihachi. Some uh, a lot of us did miss you, but was your return welcome at this point? Well, I I forgot to answer the question of like. You know about like dead villains and stuff like that and um it's hard to say because story wise obviously it does kind of like um downplay a lot of things because like you know there are sacrifices that were made of course like you know nash right in street fighter 5 he like he's dead like i said you know he is gone right but bison is back right and then we now we have heihachi coming back as well um, 
And this is a little more ridiculous, right? Because he was literally thrown into the lava, right? Like, we, I think we saw him being thrown into the lava. But he's back. So, how does that happen, right? Now, hopefully be explained in the story, but... Um, from the story side of things, I would say it does rock the boat quite a bit, right? Because of those things, like, yeah, it does, it does downplay the sacrifice, it downplays, like, the significance, right? So now that, like, every time a character dies, like, you know, it's like, well, are they truly dead, right? We don't know. Same thing could be said for Nash, of course, but villains especially, yeah, like, when they die, it's supposed to feel special because, yeah, they're the bad guy, right? But they come back, so it's like, what the fuck, you know? Um... But from a gameplay standpoint of things and also like competitive standpoint, it's like, yeah, I do understand that. Um, because you put all this time into like, let's say M. Bison, for example, and then he's like gone, right? Let's just, let's just say he's like gone. And so you're just like, well, shit, I have to now put my, um, like that same amount of time for like a different character which which did happen with street fighter third strike right because all of those characters were gone right that's why a lot of, uh, that's why a lot of people like did not like third strike because of like or street fighter 3 in general because you have all these like weird characters right that came in at one point there were no ryu and ken very first uh third strike iteration right that's why a lot of people hated it right and um so it's hard to actually kill off these fighting game characters because like it's going to ramble um rock the the player base because they put all that time into that one character and then or they feel like they have that connection right it's not that oh you shouldn't have put this time into this character it's like that connection you feel right with these characters and of course when you kill them off it's like you know now what right you know, there are a lot of players who picked and mained M. Bison. There are a lot of pick people, I'm sure, who picked uh, Meihachi as their main. JDCR is kind of one of them. He uses him from time to time quite a bit, depending on his matchups and his, you know, sort of like his moments, right? Um, so I understand from that standpoint, when it comes to gameplay stand uh, stuff, like, you, you could always, like, incorporate, you know, Reina, I thought Reina's supposed to be, like, that replacement for Heihachi, and then Heihachi's just gone, right? But yeah, I think even she has some differences, you know? But now that Heihachi is back, it's like, hmm, what's really her purpose then? From a gameplay standpoint. Story-wise, story, story -wise, yeah, she, she has a purpose, but gameplay standpoint, it's like, hmm, right? She's just she's just a female Mishima at this point, you know, feeling that or that to um check off that list, I guess. And now we have Heihachi back. It's like, all right, well, you know, right? That's kind of void, right? That point is sort of gone. <laughs> so Um, I do understand people were a little angry about Heihachi's return because of the, from a st story standpoint, but at the same time, it's like, hmm, right, like, do you really want to kill off that, um, that trope, right? The gameplay, so from a gameplay standpoint, do you really want to kill off, like, let's say, like, the zoner, right? Do you want to kill off the zoner in your fighting game like that? Or the rush, the rushdown character, or the, um, the grappler, right? You yeah. know. I mean, you can also put it like, do you want to kill off the poster child? Pretty much. Yes, because he he was the poster child at some point, especially the first one, I think, along with Kazuya, I think. But yeah, anyway, yeah, he he is like that that main character in a sense. As much of a villain he is, yes, but that is that is a point, yeah. That's like that's like killing off Ken. That's like killing off 
Well, in Bison, of course. That's like, um... In Soul Calibur standards, that's like killing off Nightmare. Or, uh, Siegfried, right? Or, um, Astroth. You know? Stuff like that, right? Um... Definitely don't want to do that. That's why, that's why these, like, fighting games, fighting game stories tend to get very tricky the more you go into it, you know? And, you know, um, when it comes to each new fighting game, right? Like, how do you, like, how do you, how do you, like, keep, keep it fresh for the story without just being really ridiculous? Or do you go full, full, full ridiculous or crazy? <laughs> go full hokey. Full hokey, yeah. Full hokey, yeah. I don't know. That's really up to the directors and stuff and the team. So it is a bit of a tricky thing, you know, like, yeah, um, the sort of the ceremonious sort of gravitas does get lost whenever these characters come back, but it also uh, does keep people happy. Like, hey, like, you know, now you have like the hey Hachi players coming back or something, you know, you know what I mean? So, like, honestly, I'm kind of like that with um, Alex in Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter, when, you know, Street Fighter 6, it, because it doesn't have Alex, I'm, like, very, like far less motivated to um, keep up with it. For when it comes to Tekken, I always like uh, like Jack and Dragonov, and they're, they're in the game, no problem, right? So I was actually on that game for, like, actually, uh, for at least, like, a couple weeks, you know? But for Street Fighter, it was honestly kind of hard for me. You know, I think even, like, Geef wasn't enough, or just World Tour alone wasn't enough. I, I I just felt like the fact that Alex was missing was just like this void for me, you know. Because I'm I'm gonna be honest, Street Fighter Five's Alex was pretty fun. I I like that Alex, right? From a gameplay standpoint, you know. Say all you want about his like character design or whatever, but I think his kit was actually really fun. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we we had fun when we were um like playing. Yeah, we were we were actually like into it, right? Like we were like in it for like almost two full seasons, you know. Yeah, two full seasons. I remember like your Alex was fun, and then there was my dumbass caught in, caught in, <laughs> and then doing, you had Laura. Doing, oh man, yeah, doing doing half ass like combos with caught in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when. And... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good times. Yeah. Which again, hey, hey, Capcom, can you put in Laura and Sean? Mm hmm. Yeah, to right. Six already? Like, put in the twins. Come on. Yeah. But something tells me, like, they've been, like, really trying to say, like, they're not going to be in the game or they're just not going to be playable or something. I don't know, man. Something, something tells me. But whatever. We'll see. You know, that's when I just knock and knock at a Capcom's door. Hey, I know you have it's, the files. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's such a shame, too, because I think Sean really would fit into the whole like urban thing. You know, the, you know, all that like spray paint, all that shit, like that whole like he city. Born in it, mm -hmm. molded by it. Yeah, right. You never seen the light of day since he was a man. Yeah, it's more street than ever, and it's a, it's really a shame that people like Alex and Sean are missing because they're very much like on that urban. They have that urban vibe to them, you know. You know, Alex with My New York, Sean with the basketball thing, you know. <laughs> My dumbass, when you said urban, I was like. I was like, every dictionary? No. <laughs> oh, God. No. They're more street than, you know, some other characters. Yeah. But, yeah, man, you know, anywho, um, that's kind of like how, well, really the true death, really, quote unquote, is just not including them in, at all in these, uh, in certain iterations, right? Like Adon, where he, where is, what the hell is, where the hell is, is he at, right? Um, you know, where's um, Hakan from Street Fighter? Where's Crimson Viper? You know, where are these characters I at? Mean, yeah, like 
in Evo and you know the Street Fighter stuff was like. Well, actually, it was it was during the Tekken finals. Yeah. You know, me and the mods, you can actually see us in the front front row. Mm-hmm. I, I was talking with Chris, like you know, what characters need to come to Street Fighter Six to you know just bump it up and mm-hmm. it, they will actually feel at home. We came to a mutual agreement, like yeah, we need the twin, uh, the siblings, Sean and um, Laura. Laura, but we also said like, I think it was um, Neon Zero saying that we need C Viper. She would be phenomenal with the fucking rush. Mm-hmm, rush the drives, the, the, the drive mechanics, exactly. Yeah, but and I think it was Chris saying that Zawa, do, do you really want to see her with the mechanics and also seeing her spam her damn? Um, earthquake, um, whatever it was called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. The yeah, I was like, Yes, <laughs> let's see how long it takes to break your fingers. Yeah, to spam that one move. Not to mention, what's her face? Oh, Ma- Ma- Makoto has also been highly requested. Ma- Makoto, super requested, but they haven't um answered that call, man. They have not answered that at all. Some people, uh, uh, I think Ibuki is up there too. But she's she was pretty uh, recent, but yeah. Uh, for Makoto, uh, Makoto is um pretty much a uh, in the mountains still training. Pretty much. So don't bother her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I love to see her come back. Um, you know, there's a lot of characters that, well, uh, a lot of people, or or you know that that have that that cult following would uh, have. Or want to have them yeah. come back, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I'm still hoping out for for that one character, and if she does return. I'm just gonna be like, hey, hey, hey yes. Ingrid is it. just gonna be a skin. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Ingrid yeah. is just gonna be a skin at best, at least for a long time. Yeah, but if she does become a real girl, I'm like, <laughs> I think you her, can yell at me, I everybody. Think she, <laughs> I think she has more of a chance in a versus Capcom game than an actual Street Fighter game. True. Yeah. I, I mean, fuck it. I, 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 if she makes it into somehow, um, Marvel, um, Marvel's Capcom Four. <laughs> oh no, um, City of the City of the Wolves. The oh, SMT like game? damn, that would be that be as a get mm-hmm. as a guest character. I would be like, um, I would be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd be so no, funny. She lives. Right? <laughs> she lives, bitch. That'd be so funny that uh, SNK brings her in before Capcom does. <laughs> That'd be so funny. That would be hilarious for you. <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> she lives. Right. <laughs> She's a real girl. Yeah. I'm definitely like con- very much considering getting that game, City of the Wolves, because it does look really cool. Just yeah, to like lab it I'm and also, stuff. I'm sad I, I couldn't play it because the line was pretty much a Disney line. Oh yeah, I saw I saw the pictures, man. It was that shit was like ridiculous. But it it goes to show and that they, yeah, the yeah, people, people are interested. People are interested, yes. And it was so funny that it was. I think it was yeah. It was only that booth that had you know like at Disney. If you've been recently, they have the uh the the how long it. Um, the wait time, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. sign. Yeah, and I'm like, oh look, it's Disney. How? What's the what's the wait time? Ninety minutes. Yeah. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks over at MK. Huh? What is the minutes? Ten minutes. Ooh. <laughs> what is <laughs> yeah. what is two KOs? Five minutes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. Can't get the Yeah. What is the Bandai Namco? 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Hmm, do I really want to play Sparking Zero? Nah. Right. <laughs> so for those, maybe in the YouTube comments, like, um, what do you guys think about dead characters? Dead, quote-unquote, dead characters, right? Coming back to fighting yeah. game stuff, right? Like, is does that rock your boat? Does that is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Do you think? I don't know. But from a marketing standpoint, obviously it's good because you're pleasing that group of players, right? You know that main Hachi, for example. You know, or in Bison, for example, right? And then if City, once City of the Wolves comes up, like if Geese comes back, and it's like that all all over again. You know, same thing. 
Um, but yeah. Um, it's de definitely um kind of a tricky thing. Like I do understand the the sort of discrepancies, quote unquote. But at the same time, it's like you know when when is a fighting game character truly dead, right? Right. Um, do you really want them completely dead? Because it because you're like literally closing off um uh a gameplay trope or you know that that category right do you do you really want to kill off that charge character or do you want to really kill off that rushdown character the grappler or the or the hybrid grappler or whatever i mean yeah. and you know of course like like you know zawa said like do you really want to kill off the poster boy or the poster child or that iconic character you know forever yeah so i don't blame Die forever <laughs> right so I, I i mean it is funny that harada said he, you know he's completely dead right that whole thing but yeah you know i don't blame them for putting heihachi back into it because yeah he is that character right iconic and stuff all right so that's it on that speaking of two uh, 2xko though um i forgot to put this in a doc but i was luckily lucky to be reminded by zawa here because um according to the intel on um x anyway or excuse me uh, twitter there are going to be skins in a battle pass according to like this alpha anyway you i mean it's you you, you can kind of see that coming especially from yeah um from riot from riot ex exactly yes this this is going to be their one of their many ways of getting money the bread and butter escape. yeah mm -hmm. yeah others oh, other way to get money they probably just want to outright sell the uh the skins yes just like how they do in league of legends mm -hmm. and with this skin that um hawk is just uh slowly showing is a pretty much an exclusive to the game mm-hmm but for how long is it gonna be like maybe a year then it's gonna hop on to uh league of legends yeah or if you have the game and the account and the regular league of legends account maybe you get them both for the same game as a thank you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little promotional yeah, that'll thank be you. nice mm -hmm. that, yeah. that'll be nice but it, it, it's right <laughs> right well we'll see how they really handle this But yeah, you know, battle passes, all that stuff is definitely bleeding over to like all the other um, franchises now, right? Yeah. At this point, especially. Should we be surprised? Not really, but you know, just thought I mentioned that. Oh, there you go. There's also a uh, Ari skin as well. So that Ari skin is already in the regular game. Okay, okay. So this is nothing like. That's nothing new, but you know. Yeah, it's not an it's not an exclusive. Yeah, but this one is, I guess, for Yasuo. Yeah. Okay. So, yep, that's the that's how you that's how they're going to make you um stick with the game longer, right? Is to have these battle passes and such. Although I think it is a little more perfect for um, fighting games because it does need that retention in order to uh, be a little more healthy with the player base and such. More so than like FPSs and stuff. Because those are those are likely going to have more people in them because of the accessibility. Whereas fighting games, you actually have to learn to play, right? You have to learn each of these characters to be optimal whereas finding or fps's like call of duty for example you don't really have to like learn the matchup you don't have to like really learn the inputs you know anything or anything you just learn you just need to know how to shoot like certain rifles and weapons and stuff like the sniper rifles shotguns and submachine guns and whatever but it's not that even then that's not that hard in comparison to each fighting character Especially in this one where you have to learn two characters, right, at once. So, um, 
that's that for that part. Uh, for the fighting games anyway, at least for the big bits anyway. So let's go ahead and move on to the frontline side of things. So let me just hit this. Oh, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> whoops. Um, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> So yes, um, this came right after, or, or we, I found out right after um, we ended the last episode. But this, but we couldn't fit this anyway because it was already like pretty long because we had a lot to talk about for evil and such. But yes, Robert Downey Jr. Um, is playing Doctor Doom in the upcoming uh, MCU films such as Doomsday and Secret Wars. Yes, so. Um, so Doomsday, for those that are not keeping up to for Marvel Cinematic Universe movies because of all personal reasons, this is the replacement of um, the Kang Dynasty because of mm -hmm. the whole Jonathan Majors thing. Yes. Some people are still getting misinformation of what it is. Mm -hmm. Still telling, saying that he's guilty, but you know, that's, a, that's a, an hour conversation talking yeah. to a wall yes <laughs> uh, a lot of people are happy that uh robert is back a lot of people are saying that marvel is uh running out of ideas desperate um, yeah or being desperate We're, to me i'm gonna yeah. be i'm gonna be that asshole you guys who are complaining either just love to complain or you mm. never picked up a, a freaking comic book in your life about about the what if series because there is a what if of um tony stark and victor von doom swapping bodies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in that comic book line uh victor pretty much used tony's um you know tony's uh what, what's it called power so yeah to, so to speak to do whatever he wanted well, in for Tony in Victor Von Doom's uh, body, pretty much helped out fucking Laveria in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So it was it's like you could see like one was just striving for power, one was like you know what, fuck it, I'll make do what with this body. Oh look, I'm back to where I was, but I'm actually helping a country that I'm not even, you know, like not even a, a part of mm -hmm. or you know from originally, but this body is. Yeah. So you, you see the two contrasts. Mm -hmm. My theory is, okay, yes, he's Victor Von Doom, but he's probably a Doom bot. Mm -hmm. That's what Victor does. He makes he makes Doom bots. Mm -hmm. And to okay. add to this Doom bot theory, probably this Victor Von Doom of the MCU teamed up with Ultron because remember Ultron must have helped uploaded his his subconscious somewhere right before vision killed him yeah quote unquote killed him right like boom like that's the last body quote unquote right because <laughs> i mean yes you could say oh, hey but zawa vision shut him off the in you know shut him to close off the internet for a minute it's like it's ultron and it's a super he's pretty much a super super computer he could have just calculated like oh shit what is he doing? Zip. <laughs> right. I'm going to send like part of myself like somewhere. Yeah. I'll have a backup of a backup of a backup or something. Yeah. Right. Somewhere. <laughs> and probably like it was Victor that found him. Like, yeah. Like, and knowing Victor, he's probably using Ultron to get his way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So my theory is that at the end of um, Doomsday, Robert's Robert is going to be destroyed, and mm -hmm. we'll see the real Victor Von Doom. And going like, "Hey, <laughs> playtime's over. Mm -hmm. I'm here." Yeah, because because again, if you read if you read Fantastic Four and know a bit of Victor Von Doom, he really doesn't like to get his hands dirty unless mm -hmm. he has to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'll send like his like workers to do his like do do the mundane shit mm -hmm. but if it involves reed richards then you freaking know that he's gonna be like right there going like yeah <laughs> <laughs> i hate you and then richard's like oh hi so so how's Vic, the kids so <laughs> like, how's so the kids? doom has like a hate boner for uh 
Yeah, re- oh, re- always had a, had that big ass hate boner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like a hate boner that he re- it's it's like I respect you, Reed Richards, but I fucking hate you. Yeah, but I respect <laughs> you, but I respect you. Mm-hmm. And it's like uh, pick a lane. You hate me or you respect me? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm saying you're supposed to be the smart one. Right. And that's the thing too with Victor Von Doom. He is smart. Mm. In every comic book line, he is intelligent. He is smart. Yes. But when you when he's compared to like Tony Reed Richards, Rocket, uh-huh. he's not. He's really not that smart. He's second best. Ah, uh, okay. That's why he has that little God complex. It, superiority mm. complex when he when he has that small little edge you know he does the whole monologue shit it's like you just pat him on the head it's like <laughs> here's a cookie yeah <laughs> go sit over there right yeah and then with the russo brothers you know coming back yeah it's not to me desperation it's like they know their shit yeah. they know how to make a movie right yeah. So yeah. So at the moment, like, let them let them cook. Let them cook. Yeah. Let's see how this go- plays out. They might have some plans. Right. And, like you said, like it might be just a a ruse, right? That they'll yeah. open the way for the real Victor Von Doom or something, right? So, in a way. So, as somebody who is mostly, um. A casual fan like i don't read the comics too much i know of the comics but i don't actually read the comics right and i'm mostly watching the the mcu as a means to kind of like um i don't know get into this whole universe um i kind of do see like both sides of it like yeah like maybe it is out of like maybe that was their like emergency like button all along right oh in case like the whole like diversity stuff doesn't work out for the for disney they'll just hit the button be like all right we're bringing back um rdj and the russo brothers and we'll uh have a soft reboot you know and we'll go back to the the quote-unquote old older avenger days or whatever right yeah um i think because yeah i think that that at that point we're already like kind of like over um over with that phase uh you know those movies have already happened with kang and all that stuff you know what has happened has happened right so uh and because yes um the whole jonathan majors situation um they had to do some rewriting and stuff like that maybe maybe it did work out for them it's just all right maybe it did come a little sooner than they wanted to but um now they're bringing in you know dr doom as that that big villain, right? Along with um, later on Galactus, I'm expecting, right? Um, it's like it's 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 definitely like you know um, I get it, you know. They're bringing back Robert, and it, it, that could be a sign, like, oh, they're out of ideas, or they're oh they're desperate and such. And it's funny because um. The people who do read the comics have been saying those sort of comments as well as the casual goers but most of the casual goers um are not gonna care right i mean to the masses right i'm talking about like the masses right like you know the families who bring their kids to these movies um i think they don't care and um for the most part i think that what they care about is like oh yeah it's robert downey jr he's coming back Woo! you know he's so cool he's such a good actor you know that kind of thing and um and i think that is a way to bring back those audiences right um from a business standpoint yeah that is a power move that that does work you know oh yeah russo brothers right yeah you know that's another thing you know um from a business standpoint i get it uh from a more like moral standpoint um like it's first impressions yeah like 
they could have gotten somebody else to do it but um i don't know maybe may, maybe there is a plan there is a reason why they brought back robert downey jr right um <laughs> you know some people call him the mcu jesus or something because he's like he was like the first um you know like that actor where he um sort of put the mc on the map with the first iron man film right um he was yeah. the first and he was certainly the the kind of the quote-unquote last one with endgame right he you know snapped the he, he did the snap and everything yeah. and then now he's like coming back and sort of like um in a way like jesus right he's like he's gonna re revitalize the mcu once again it's like it's like a repeat you know uh possibly but We'll, we'll see how the story goes like we'll, you know he may be a bot i don't know he might be just like a body or something for the re and, and he'll make way for the real dr doom who knows right so uh it will be a long wait for that answer but um yep. yeah but it'll eventually we'll eventually know but yeah like i i get it i i get why people feel this way right now or other people feel the other way or whatever you know uh, um we'll see we'll see if they hit that reset button or not is it just going to be more of the same mcu stuff because i've been out of the mcu stuff at for a long while now at this point i haven't watched like any of the recent films i i, I do want to catch up eventually with like you know black panther 2 and like the what is it um ant-man stuff um you know, I'll even sit through uh, the Captain Marvel stuff, right? So on and so forth. And then if, not to mention the shows, right? But, um, you know, because of the whole, like, well, I mean, I don't want to say, like, the whole diversity, quote-unquote, thing. The, the woke stuff um, kept me away or anything. I think, I think it's just, it was just the writing, like, in general. It was, it was not for me. And that's why I stepped away to consume other things like, well, the boys, for example, right. Um, and other shows, you know, but now that, you know, they're bringing back of what's familiar to me, then I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I now I'm, uh, it is bringing slowly back that sort of motivation to get back into the MCU stuff. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll go back to enough of the old stuff for me to come back to um you know we'll see we'll see if disney kind of like you know is aware that not all the 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 recent stuff has been sticking right and hopefully they can kind of go back and see what worked really you know because frankly a lot of that stuff wasn't broken so why fix it right why why do all this do hickey stuff you know when all this stuff worked before why why are you trying to be fancy when you when you had this formula right you know why why are you changing up the Krabby Patty formula right you had some you had already something going <laughs> that's kind of mm -hmm. what I, how I see it you know but they're doing they're, they're like they're, they're, I, I I I think they're I think this is, this is a problem with other companies too not just Disney of course but I think they're appealing trying to appeal to too many people whereas they should just appeal to the marvel fans and then you know people will be like oh shit this looks cool you know right, that kind of thing like and um that's just kind of how it goes nowadays like they're they're trying to appeal to too many people whereas they should appeal to the actual people who like it right you know but you know these with these mega corporations right they want to see those numbers go up the money right so they gotta like they gotta do something along those lines but hopefully with the with this stuff hopefully that'll like go back to like that nice balance you know whereas they're trying to they're you know trying to do that that mass appeal thing where it winds up not pleasing anybody really you know which has been a problem for video games as well as movies so okay so that's enough of that uh yes robert downey jr is back right 
it, it is it is nice and it's, it is a poetic in a way so i like that aspect but yes i do understand the desperation thing and the the running out of ideas kind of thing you know but you know it's like well then do you not want them to go back to the way that you liked what what, what, what are you what are you really saying then like uh, you know what i mean like Maybe they were trying to answer to you, but now you're just like, oh, you're desperate, Ooh, you know, <laughs> like, so it's like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? It's almost like they are answering to you now, but you just don't realize it, right? It's like, that's something to think about, you know? It's like Call of Duty, right? It's like, oh, we want something different from Call of Duty. Okay, well, let's make it something different from Call of Duty. Why'd you make Call of Duty different? Because you, because you wanted yeah. that. That's what you're asking for. We'll go back to the old way. Like, <laughs> right. He's like, okay, go back to the old way. Why? <laughs> what is this? It's like, right. oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it, it's it's a it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Um on all sides in a way. So for me, at the end of it, I'll let them let them do their thing and see if they cook or not, you know, over the next couple of years. By the way, welcome back, Mr. Downey Jr. <laughs> Mr. Robert Downey Jr. And he just opens the door. You're welcome. Like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., man. <laughs> it's How so did you know where I live? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now, I guess, um, with all that said, right, this is the 2026 movie slate at this point. So we have a, quite a bit of movies to look forward to. I actually forgot Street Fighter was um, a thing, like the live action Street Fighter. But Toy Story 5? Really? Yep. Fuck, man. Like, ugh. Just let that fucking series die. I know, right? Like... Three was three perfect. Was the, three, yeah. it was so three ended lovely, but mm -hmm. no, we gotta melt this shit. Yes, exactly right. Oh my god, it's yeah. Like at the top when I first watched four, I was like, yeah, all right, it looked cool. Like, but um, when you look at the grand scheme of things, three was should have should have been the the ending. It that's it ended so perfectly for me. Why why do more right? But of course, money. <sighs> right. Uh there's a Ninja Turtles movie coming. Um I think this is this is the uh what do you call the animated one, right? I think they're doing a sequel for this one, I guess. Frozen 3, uh, whatever, right? I'm sort of whatever. It's like who 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 asked for Who asked for that? Yeah, exactly. Gollum, there's a Gollum film coming, Aang the Airbender, Last Airbender, uh Mario's Mario Brothers 2, of course, that's natural, I guess. Hunger Games, I'm surprised this is still going, but I'm guessing this is also from the book, The Sunrise of the Reaping, um, if anyone reads that, or whatever. Uh, a Star Wars film, it just says untitled, <laughs> that's funny. Um, Mandalorian and Grogu is going to be a movie, I guess. Supergirl... And then Jordan Peele's next film. That's funny. Shrek 5, yes. We we definitely got that message. Um, Dude, Messiah. Batman. No, Batman 2. Um, I'm actually cool with that. I, mean, I, I did like the... Um, yeah. Robert Patrick... Uh, what's, what's, what's his name? Patterson. Patterson, excuse me. Um, yeah. Take on... Robert Patterson's um, take on... He's a good... He's a good... Batman. He needs to work a little bit on Bruce. Bruce what? Yes. Yes. And of course, Doomsday. So, yeah. Doomsday is coming Doomsday. first. Yes. Then Secret Wars is after that sometime. So, yeah. Uh, any comments on these films? Other films? Oh, yeah. Project Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's all about. What's, you know, of this? Okay. I'm going to use your you as as the mouse so go up go up to doomsday and we're gonna go one by one okay yes okay yes i mean it's gonna be a closing chapter so 
needed. Yeah. Why? <laughs> We're Shrek 5, yeah. I bet we scared to death. Oh, yeah, from Jordan Peele, yeah. Alright, Supergirl. Because of the logo of how it looks, it might be animated. Mmm, like a 3D CGI kind of thing. And I don't know if this is still, this might be under James Gunn, so we'll see. Right. Yes. Rogu, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Kathleen Kennedy going to say that there's no fucking material for them to make Star Wars? Is that why it's called Untitled Film? <laughs> <laughs> Hunger Games. Truth be told, I thought that that series fucking died years ago. Right? I didn't know they're, they're still going. Uh, Super Mario 2. Uh, I better hear more songs by Jet Black. As Bowser, naturally. Yep. Ong. Ong, the... yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it live action? Is it, I think um, it's supposed to be live action, but yeah. Is it a continuation of of um the the TV show and yeah, the Netflix one? Like, like Repu yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the um cartoon and they're showing how Republic City was being made. Oh, you're and right. Yeah, that's right. They haven't uh, talked about that. Hunt for Gollum. Um, Andy Serkis better show show up again mm -hmm. as fucking um, Gollum. <laughs> yeah. It, it frozen through. Why? Yeah. Yes, I need more Jackie Chan as a fucking hobo rat. <laughs> Uh, Transformers G.I. Joe. I mean, if you watch the last Transformers movie, it kind of hinted that's where it was going, and it's now like... Hasbro, how desperate are you trying to reboot these franchises? Right. <laughs> Speaking of which, which I'll grab it later, at my theater that I went to see Deadpool, yes, Deadpool and Wolverine yesterday, they were selling a 40th um, anniversary uh, Transformers cup. Oh, I had to buy it. <laughs> okay. And then when I when I saw the big four, I was like, "Holy shit! <laughs> You're old." <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, start till story five. Why? Right. Mm -hmm. Again. Like, Exorc yeah. Ugh. I I actually like flew over this real fast. I'm like, I didn't even see that till now. But yeah, Exorcist. Why? Leave the clap. The original is good. Yeah. Who's who's asking for this? Who's 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 absolutely asking for the Exorcist to like being remade? I don't know. Some some guy that wants to piss off in a good way of all the all the Christians. I guess. Like I understand. I understand Frozen, right? I can see Frozen or Toy Story, right, being yeah. milked. But Exorcist? Who's at, who's like who's actually asking for this? Who wants this milked? You know? I want to see the little girl spin her head again. It's like... Or barf. And watch or... The, <laughs> yeah. It's like, then watch the original. I need to see it in, in like, nowadays technologies. Like, mm -hmm. the old one still holds up. Yeah. Way better because it was practical. Yep. Uh, Street Fighter. How many characters and how... Um, accurate are their uh costumes going to be yeah their costumes and their abilities all that stuff and is uh ming na way gonna be on uh, chun li again she's like oh she was in the over uh, in the 97 oh yeah <laughs> chun li mm -hmm. i wouldn't mind right steven spielberg ufo movie it's et2 et2 <laughs> or um Fourth encounters of the fifth kind. Mm. You see how? See what I did there? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> or it's probably a reboot. Probably. One of his old movies. Eh? Probably a reboot, yeah. Hail Mary, I'm just going to be a dumbass because of the triangle. So I was like, oh, is this um, fucking Squid Games? The triangle. 
I have no idea. I, I, I've been hearing about this project name, but I have no idea what, what, like, anything. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what this is all about. So, that is a complete mystery to me. So, that's what it looks like for um, next, next year. Remember, because we're still in 2024. So, we have quite the wait for a while. Um, I, man, this, this meme just comes back and it's always good. I, I, uh, it's basically the, the deep, you know. Yeah, the um, deep doing it. The, the turnaround, like, Marvel, we need the MCU uh, Doctor Doom. Who could it be? And then Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I I love the D because he's such a like piece of shit. <laughs> oh, he's such he's like that perfect combination of the a piece of shit, a joke, and I guess kind of kind of badass because he is strong and whatever. But like, <laughs> nah. Oh man, it's basically it's basically Aquaman. If he came out with his real feelings, <laughs> for the most part, maybe maybe minus the 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 SA, if you know what I'm saying, but <laughs> for like a party, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if was if um Aquaman was uh, unhinged, did we get the deep, you know? But the <laughs> the turnaround is just so funny. It's so stupid. <laughs> like, oh, I wish I wish this was in the show, but but yeah, they it's just generic music. <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it, it it's funny though because it's the the exact sound from the trailer of Thor: uh, Love and Thunder, but um, <laughs> they just like pasted that into here, but it's but it just somehow works. It's just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and it kind of fits the situation you know i get it i get the feeling you know i get the the reasons and context all that stuff um but yeah when he went when, when that actual reveal happened i was like kind of surprised like whoa they actually did it you know so all right but see, speaking of like, whoa, actual surprise was this. I don't know if you caught wind of this, but um, it's from Culture Crave. Authorities arrested 14 people and rescued 10 victims in a, hum a human trafficking sting, sting that took place at S San Diego's Comic-Con. And then apparently, right, um... Yeah, there's there's a press release but the i guess tldr or, or quote it says unfortunately sex traffickers capitalize on large-scale events such as comic-con to exploit their victims for profit these arrests send a clear message to potential offenders that their criminal behavior will not be tolerated um one of the recovered victims was a 16 year old girl so i did not even know like this was a thing. I didn't even think. You know, I, I didn't look into it too much, so I don't know how exactly it works, but it's like, okay, from a very broad standpoint, I guess it makes sense because there's so many people there, right? There's so many, like, young people and stuff like that. Um, that, you know, I guess could be very easily manipulated. I don't know how they do it is my big question here besides the fact that yeah they they are you know um i guess one here too it says the anti-human trafficking operation targeted sex buyers and focused on recovering the potential victims of sex trafficking 
and arresting traffickers. Law enforcement personnel worked under, under uh, worked undercover as sex buyers to under identify and contact potential victims of trafficking and arrest their traffickers. As part of the operation, undercover law enforcement personnel also posted undercover advertisements soliciting sex to uh, arrest sex buyers. As a result of the three-day operation, 14 sex buyers were arrested. Nine adult potential victims of sex trafficking were recovered and uh, offered services. And uh, one 16-year-old juvenile was recovered. Child welfare services and child, or no, excuse me, and adult and juvenile support service advocates were on the scene to provide support as needed so i guess it's like um also a grounds of transactions right so it's like you know it's it's it's, 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 it's basically like drugs right like um yeah yeah damn they just straight up like all right you got the goods yeah you know okay you know bring them over or something or you'll see it at your your car or something the, the I don't designated know. the designated drop zone yeah pretty much like oh my god that's like oh my god i didn't i didn't think it would happen man like did, did you ever <laughs> thought about that stuff <laughs> oh like this, this is like one of those like cars car stories yeah dude my god holy shit and then if it's only now they've been fighting this, like who knows what about the past years, you know, now you your brain start thinking. Right? Like, um damn, like I wonder if E three was one of the targets or whatever, or one of the grounds, right? Like I I, I don't wanna say what if um I'll go type it. Typing is better. Yeah. So so we don't jinx it. Mm -hmm. What of what of that place? Oh god. Knock on wood. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I was about to say, though, like, what if Anime uh, Expo was also one of them, too, right? So, anything, really, I think any, like, major convention, you know, yep. is a huge target for that shit. I've never, ever thought about that. But I guess it makes sense, you know? It's definitely not, like, um, like... Like an actual kidnapping, you know what I mean? Like that would be too obvious, you know, way too obvious. So I guess like they just um, do transactions at these places, man. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they do just nab up people like that. That's that's fucked. If that's the case, you know. Like remember those? Remember the story at Evo? Like people got drugged or something like that or whatever. You know, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to like, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, that's what, how, how it happened. But may, like, if you, if you think about that stuff, like now that I can't, you know, I can't help, but you know what I mean? Start possibly connect these dots, you know, like Jesus, man, that shit, ain't, that, that shit, ain't, that shit ain't it, man. That's scary. That is scary. Like it's just happening. Like as you walk by and fucking take pictures with like Robert Downey Jr. or like your favorite voice actor, man, that's scary. Yeah. What if it what if it happened like yeah, like like right next to you before you don't you, you even know it and you're just like hearing these like weird code names and like all that stuff, you know? Shit. You know, I've been I've been to Anime Expo like twice. I've been to Evo couple, more than a couple of times, right? You know, and then I've been to E three twice. You know, so it's like fuck. <laughs> ah, how long, man? How long has this shit's been happening? But it does make sense if you do think about it. Unfortunately, um. But okay, let me see. Uh Oh, okay, so yeah. This could be outside of the thing, but still, you know. 
You just never know. You just never know what's going on. But let me see. Hold on. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just trying to see where exactly it happened. Um, Uh, I'm trying to see if it's outside or inside this place, but either either way, like it, it's like around that time. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Super Bowl, too, apparently is a possibility. Or it, it is. Um, where a lot of human trafficking uh, happens, too. Jeez. So it's not just conventions. It's just, like, big fucking events like the olympics right now you know uh let me see well it does it does say like aimed at uh let me see the, the targeting sex buyers using the using the comic-con convention to seek out potential victims um oh man i don't know it's yeah, that shit's gross. <laughs> as someone, as someone said. Now the big question is: Is this going to prevent like future congoers of going? Uh, um, I would say some people definitely, um, at least go together. You know, go with somebody. Go as a group. You go as a group, yeah, man. Especially, you know, like, um, women, right? Jesus, fuck, man. One more thing to be a little more scared about these events. But, um, yeah, I mean, shout outs to the enforcement, man. Um, doing work, you know, but again, it's like, um, where else this could not happen, right? Whether it be outside or inside the place, you know, it is scary. Because, yeah, there is plenty of people outside the place, too, because they want to, like, take pictures or do the cosplay stuff, like, show off their cosplaying, talk with people, right? Maybe it is too crowded in the inside, so they go outside to, you know, talk talk, talk about stuff. Man. Um, yeah, I think, I think they definitely, you try to use these events though, to like hide in plain sight kind of thing. Cause there's a lot of people, you know, coming in and such. So they use that as a distraction, right? Um, yeah, during the week, right? It happens during every large event. Super Bowl is horrible for it. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, they also focus on the Super Bowl stuff, too. So that is another huge event. Yeah. So either way, that, that shit's scary, man. That shit is scary. Hopefully, um... Enforcement can crack, crack down on more of that shit. To make the place uh, a little safer in the future. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, march on over to um, 
Games news, so let me hit this. New sound, new sound for, for the games thing. Because uh, I thought it would be, it's, you know, a little more appropriate because it's very familiar to many of us. It's like that, 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 uh, the trick, like that trigger, right? For nostalgia. But anyway, let's talk about uh, a modern game here uh, called Zenless Zone Zero because we're both playing it. And recently, they have there was a big live stream presentation. Although it was 15 minutes, but they had uh, quite a quite a bit of information. So uh, this is for 1.1, 1 .1, right? Um, let me actually bring up another uh, recap here. This is actually from Zenless Zone Zero themselves. Just in case, but anyway. Uh, first off, there was a redemption code. Um, so don't forget that, guys. If you want those polychromes. It's somewhere on those, like, Twitter pages. I I, I sent you one, so I, did you um, activate it or redeem it? Yes. Okay. I yes. It. What I like about that one is um, they don't do it, because like, for Star Rail and um, Genshin, at least, they they piecemeal it so it's like oh 100 gems or whatever for the first 10 minutes and then um another one in the in the 20 minute mark and then the last one in the 30 minute mark or whatever, whatever hypothetically speaking but they like spread them out whereas this they just gave out the 300 right then and there it's like all right one code that's it plain and simple right so that's nice i like that so what they announced here was a new character, of course, that is Jane Doe. See, I actually thought Jane Doe was actually from the police or whatever. She um, was grouped together with the police guys or whatever, the public security. But it turns out she's not affiliate, affiliated with them. She's like a boss character that you have to fight um, at one point. Uh, and she's like... I mean, she. I think she is undercover of sorts, but maybe from like a different organization. I don't know. She, maybe she's a spy. I have no idea. Mercenary spy. Maybe she. Maybe she does join, pub, uh, pubsec. Um, at one point. Maybe that's why she, was grouped with them, but I don't know. Anyway, so Jane Doe was announced, and then uh, of course, uh, Ching Yi uh, also has been, um, announced as well. So you kind of see here, um, so Ching Yi will be the first banner of the two. Yep. Uh, Ching Yi will be coming along with um, a rate up for uh, Corin and um, Billy. Ale. Yep, Billy. Billy Bob. <laughs> yeah, Billy Bob. Yeah, Billy Bob here. Yeah, no, Billy Kid uh, will be uh, part of the rate up as well. Um, Jane Doe will come in. Will come in in the later half with Seth, uh, who is like a defensive um, character. Yeah, he's he's gonna be the second defense character next to uh, Ben. Yes, and then we have Ambi as the other um, rate up. Mm -hmm. And there there was already a gameplay of showing his um skills. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much wielding a fucking um. Charge blade slash switch, and switch yes. axe, switch yeah. axe, charge blade. So I'm like, <laughs> he's like, come here, come here, uh, credit card. We're going, mm -hmm. we're going to do some exercises. Mm -hmm. So you're naturally going to be pl uh, pulling on the Jane Doe banner, then. banner, yeah, yeah, banner two, yeah. Because I don't need to do the banner one because Billy and um Corin for me they're already um six six. So. Oh, okay, okay. They're fully, fully maxed out, pretty much, for you. Yeah, so okay. I, I have a naked, half-naked uh, Billy mm. Butcher. <laughs> Billy Butcher? Did you say Billy Butcher? <laughs> Oi. I mean, he, has a, he, he has his uh, jacket off, and it's like, mm -hmm. no wonder no wonder some of the artists I follow are horny for him. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's confusing because some... Bios, he's a cyborg, but other Bios says he's a robot. So, I'm now I'm confused. Like, is he is maybe he identifies as as a um a gender fluid? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I have no idea. 
Um, but I will. I do want to try get yeah her mm, Chingy, but, yeah yeah yeah. But her W engine is weird because its name is like Ice something. So I was like, oh, she's another Ice character. Nope, she's electric. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she's electric. Dun, 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 oh yeah, dun, yeah. Dun, it dun, says dun, Ice dun, Jade dun, Pot. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Ice Jade Pot. Yeah, that's very confusing. I do not blame you for that. Yeah. I believe Jane Doe is a uh, physical. A phys yeah. yeah, she's a physical anomaly uh, user. Which basically means she will um, build up the physical elements, which I forget what it's called, but in other games it will be bullied, it's, um, Assault. Assault. It's yeah. called Assault. Yeah. 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 Assault. Because yes. um, Billy and uh, Nickel. Nickel builds it up fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have Seth being, I believe, electric. Yeah, he's a uh, electric, electric defense. Electric. Yes. I kind of like that they, they, they have. Weird, like, sorry. Yeah. They, uh, they, go ahead. they have so much electrics. Yeah. Yeah. They don't like when it comes to the elements, there's a lot of electrics. Mm -hmm. Only like three. Yeah. Right. Three ice. Mm -hmm. Almost a shit ton of physical damage. Yeah. And and only a handful of fire. Mm -hmm. Very interesting distribution. Same with ether. Don't forget. Don't forget ether. Oh, yeah, ether. They only have it's like, like two, three. Three. They just they just got three. Oh, these guys. Right? No. Well, well. I know there's a uh, Juan or Juan, and then there's Nicole. Juan, Nicole. Oh fuck. I they only have two. Yep, they only have two. What? Well, if, well, and then there's the bangboos, right? That kind of help with the element yeah, coverage, but, but yeah. But if we go like. Playable, playable playable characters yeah there's only two that i can think of right so it is a bit interesting that they are distributing these elements this way and then yes naturally I wonder how hard they they had to like be careful with set's name why no oh, because change that to yuri <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah 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 it's like it's Spider Man. He, he looks like a Yuri too. Like, like if I look at this character, I'd be like, "Oh, is that the is that is that Yuri? Like, is his name Yuri? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Yuri Lol. <laughs> That's funny. He's he's nah. He's a bottom. <laughs> you mean power bottom? No. Sure, <laughs> whatever faults you vote. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's a lynx. If we're gonna look at his ears yeah. and tail, but yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say... It's kind of... weird that... again, like, there are those uh, players that said there's too much furry characters, and I'm like, where? Mm -hmm. No, I think... That's, I, I, I was like, the, the only full-blown furries is Ben and Lycon. Mm -hmm. Lycan, yeah. Everyone else ha mm -hmm. ha has, has a fucking, like, just Ear. ears, yeah, just ears and a tail. That's a yeah. And then you have uh <laughs> Ellen who just has the tail and the teeth. <laughs> um other things. Uh, I wanna say for Jane Doe, her mm -hmm. name I wanna say like in future updates her name is gonna change. Ooh, that'd be pretty Cause... cool, right? Yeah. Like after we done her, like she gets her like moment in the sun with like her her actual story. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, so my name is not really Jane Doe. It's actually this. Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? Maybe you're right because it says in development, not rep re representative of the final version. So maybe that that little like asterisk right there is supposed to be like, hey, this is a filler name, blah blah blah, for story reasons, you know. Maybe she is a good guy, but she'll be a bad guy initially. We'll see. Meanwhile, so which fan are you pulling again? Oh, uh, Ching, the Ching, first the second. Ching, Ching Yi. So first, naturally, because I, I, I definitely feel like I want a five star uh, electric stunner or impact unit. And she no, looks pretty. The question. Cool. Mm -hmm. How much moolah? How much? Oh man, I, I don't know about Moolah, man. <laughs> this man doesn't want to think about it. No, I don't want to think about it. 
Yeah. Fine, I'll be the brave man. 100 on the first day. <laughs> oh no. God. Man. Man. And it's okay because I also bought, and this is the first time I'm doing this because I know um my one of my other uh, gotcha games does it. You know, the you buy the monthly, the monthly plan. Mm hmm. Or, and you, you know, you get free shit yeah. as long as you, you get extra free shit. So I bought that one for Genshin. So it's like, okay, I have insurance <laughs> and it's really hard right now to not use did this pool right now. Did you say Genshin or did you, or you meant to say Zenless? Uh, other. <laughs> maybe I'm playing Genshin. <laughs> you know? Maybe I, I, maybe I threw $300 to Try did you give did you give in and started the Genshin now? <laughs> because Captain's coming up. <laughs> is he playable? That, that it's still up in the air, but I think he's he's he should be playable. Like from what it sounds like, because they already they they already identified him as a sword user. So it's like okay, he should be playable then. Uh, so. Wait, uh... Yeah, it's funny me. Me is going to be sticking with first banner or first, yeah, first banner, and then Zawa is going to be doing second banner. So I have a bit of a harder time because, uh, yeah, that's coming sooner. So, yeah, I have less time to save, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll skip out on Jane, like, yeah, you know, because, uh, well, I don't know how Hoyo does their banners, they, they do eventually. Return in in rotation, right? Uh, they do reruns, yes. They do reruns, but I don't know how long. But it is it takes. is it is it as bad as you know Fate Go, where you have to wait mostly an entire year? It depends on the character, so I don't know because in Genshin it's pretty rough because some characters have not barely come, like they barely come back, right? Uh, so some characters um suffer the um. Uh, was it FO fear of missing out? Yeah, the FOMO thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, thankfully, those characters aren't like super meta, but still, like in terms of like you know wanting to complete the collection or like yeah, you know, popularity wise, yeah. um, mm -hmm. popularity wise, she looks good. Um, Chingli. Yeah, Ching Ching yeah, Ching Yi is uh pretty cool and then you have Seth being like the switch blade slash um charge blade user. Or switch axe, excuse me, and then charge blade. Um Jane Doe looks pretty cool. The story I, for, yeah. He's gonna be a um a secondary or the second um defense character. Yes. Yes. What is his like sound animation you know when you do the perfect parry because oh yeah because ben's one i still think is the best one because he's just like <laughs> holding up the fucking pair like yep 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 mm -hmm. i'm fine yep 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 i'm fine i kind of wish though they do more of like what they do with um ben and coletta because they change the animations when they attack oh, yeah. together in the same team yeah that's that's why I kind of wish too. Like when you have like at least one person from the Victoria, you know, two people from Victoria household, they do they like do a, something, yeah. They do a dance because mm -hmm. you, you went through them. You went through that, right? Yeah, we went. Through you already it, yeah. went. You already saw what what they can do. Mm -hmm. Like just fucking have like a a, a nice waltz dance, you know. Of them kicking ass. And, yes. And yes. At the end, at the end, you know, if if you have Lycon and and Rena, they both just bow to each other and then mm -hmm, they just mm -hmm. like, fuck off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. And then if you have Corin and um, and ooh, if you have Corin and um, Ellen, what if they fucking trade traded weapons mid? -fight? Yeah, like throw each other's weapons and like do their thing with each other's weapon that'd be so yeah that'd be yeah. really cool yeah yeah that's the one thing i feel like not enough people are talking about strangely is like these unique animations if you have certain people from in, in you know in the same team or whatever 
but I think it's only Ben and Coletta. Coletta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coletta, yeah. They're just the, Yep. Yeah, it it is weird. Like even um, Ambi and Nicole slash or Billy don't do that. It's literally just those two. Ben it's and like, Coletta. You think like with 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 Coletta's gang, they would have that family like shit. Like they would do something together, right? But it's just Ben and Coletta, of all people. I guess I guess it's because she trusts Ben like the most. Maybe he is the accountant. And so that, <laughs> yeah, and that, and that's the other thing. It's like she has to look good for him and show that she's not wasting money. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they are addressing that because they have been saying like, oh, they, we're gonna like work on a lot of stuff to help improve. Oh, yeah, they're like saying them. Um, there's like they're changing like some animations and mm -hmm. some models. Yes. But the thing that I got from the little um, short, uh, what's it called? Teaser preview. Yes. Or talk. And it was said before um, earlier, or like a week ago. Mm -hmm. You get to change the uh, your character. Yes. For the world. Yes. So I was like, oh, good. <laughs> yes. That was also very much addressed. But they hear they also had this letter right at the end, but it basically just says, these changes take time, so please be patient. That's yeah, sort we're of the, not asking you to do it like fucking now. Right. Like lightning fast, you know, don't, don't fucking split any hairs or anything, you know? Like, yeah, we understand these things take time. You know, we'll let you cook, you know? Yeah. Um, You can't build a bridge in one day, man. Like, you know? <laughs> um, There's more uh, content coming, including, of course, uh, a new Hollow Zero mode where there will be no TVs. So that's actually really cool. It says simply select the residences and go straight into battle. Like, holy shit. Like, wow. You're just like cutting the middleman pretty much and just like, fuck it. Let's just fight, man. I think maybe what you need to do is just complete it once and then you can uh, shortcut it. They give, they'll give you the shortcut as a feature. Um. So there's like new events and new little things here and there like they'll give you like the um free temple throughout the throughout the week um new little mini events um i guess yeah something about the new boss or not new boss but like they'll do something with the new content um yeah new shiyu defense operation uh just more content yeah, Golden Week, that stuff, special treasures, stuff like that. And let me see. Was there anything else I need to mention? Um But yeah, I think I think what what we've been talking about hopefully will be addressed throughout the time. Yeah, so you can even in this story quest, you'll play as Jane Jane Doe. Like you can like walk around neighborhood as Jane Doe. So already that's like a hint of what it looks like. A oh man, those uh someone point yeah, yeah, someone pointed out, oh those those animations. Yeah. I was about to say, man, the animations are on point. The hip swing, the tink twin the twil the yeah, there it is. <laughs> neuron activated. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm I yep. mean, I can't say shit because that's going to be me once, uh, you know, I switch to Lycon. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, what was going to say also? Oh, yeah, there's this, there's this, uh, artwork as a recent too. I think this was actually supposed to be the, uh, the grad photo or like the photograph found in, uh, uh, Juen's like room or something from one of the trailers or something like that. So kind of kind of neat and they like drop little like lore little things like that in their like social media stuff. 
Um, let me see. There was one more thing I wanted to point out, but it's like a small, small little point. Um, let me see. Do do do. Um. Man, they like tweet out a lot of stuff. But anyway. Yeah, so this is like not news news, but like we were just talking about like the fixes and all that stuff. Where was it? Um It was something to do with like the modeling and stuff. Yeah. We will be continuously working on the models of some agents to provide proxies and improved visual experience. So it's like stuff like this. It does tell you like, okay, we're going to work on, you know, the visual side of things slowly, but surely. Um, yeah, the manual chain attack mode, you can even cancel the chain attack combos if you want as an option. Um, yeah, when you unlock or when you pull an agent, like a new agent, you'll get their avatar and such like that. Um, and then, yeah, of course, they're addressing the TV stuff, right? TV mode. They're addressing that stuff. You know? So they're, they're, they're trying. They're definitely trying to improve the game, um, like, very, very vividly and clearly. Like, they, they, they're trying to make that well communicated as much as possible oh yeah and then yes they they'll let you take selfies with your character so <laughs> that's like a bonus i guess yeah that looks good yeah looking good new chapter in the story there's jane doe chingy seth you know new the new bong boo more of the boss. Jane Doe right there. Yeah, the yeah, the animations are very, very on point. Very much on point. Jane Doe's and Chingy's. And yes, there are the selfies right there, which Like even this, even this stuff is executed better than um, Genshin's like photo mode, I'd say, and uh, even uh, what's it called, um, Star Rail as well. Oh yeah, this this is like from the cover, uh, or excuse me, um, where is the art for the videotape? Wanted to show that as well before we move on. Oh, there it is. This is the uh, cover for um, Jane Doe's story. If you would do unlock her or whatever, you know those like tapes, right? They can do the video stories. Oh yeah, the um, Legion um, side stories. Yes, this is the cover for Jane Doe's, and <laughs> someone, someone's like pointing out like why is, you know Seth's face, like. When he's looking at Jane Doe or something, but he just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he's like weirded out or something. Her and Seth, Tom and Jerry of ZZZ. That would be pretty funny if they if these two are like the Tom and Jerry later on for ZZZ. That would be so funny. That would be pretty cool. All right. So that's it for that. I I think ZZ is coming along. Um, and speaking of which, of coming along, the data for um, ZZZ, since it has been a month at this point, um, reveals that, yes, it made this much money in that one month. So 68 or pretty much 69 million dollars 
um, from China alone. Uh, so, there, where is it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, and then when, and then meanwhile, yes, in the other regions, right? Yeah, global blood plus Japan. It's about half the amount, but yeah, that's still that's all part of CCZ. So all together, that's like um, almost a hundred million. So quite a bit of money um, in that first month. I do not remember when it comes to Star Rail and Genshin. I, I totally forget. Right. And then, you know, people have been pointing out like, oh, look at Star Rail and Genshin right now. Well, they're kind of in their dead period right now because like, you know, they're they're getting ready for Natlin. So like none of the. uh, What do you call those like really meta characters have been coming out, right? They're just kind of taking a break, right? It's, it's like in that sort of grace period, you know? So I wouldn't count them out at all. You know? It's still making money, so you can't... Yeah. Because, yeah, like, look look, look at look at Star Rail in the China part of things uh, from June, right? Because I believe that's when um, Firefly came out. Firefly was, like, super popular. And I... I, um, I like, I got three copies of her, plus her, uh, pretty much her signature weapon, essentially, which which are called light cones. Um, so I am definitely guilty of that. Um, Genshin is still kind of like in that dead period because, you know, um, nothing like big or big, uh, big happened in the story as of this point. That already happened when Fiorina and New Valette came out. So we're kind of past that phase. But have you heard of this game called Love and Deep, Deep Space? This one is like kind of random. Like, what the, what the hell is this? It's got like... Let's, man let's download it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in like China, it's been like kind of creeping up in the, the charts here. <laughs> What's going on here? Come on, it, it, it's nothing. We're safe. Mm -hmm. Dokkan Battle made a huge jump from June to July, with from four million to twenty-three million. Like Jesus, do, do you know what happened in Dokkan? Like who who uh, who came out in the the banner or whatever? Peace Gohan. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Peace Gohan and um, Orange the Piccolo. Oh, okay. And Orange Piccolo. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, What's kind of interesting, though, is that globally, right, when it comes to Japan and the rest of the global stuff, Drop isn't as significant in like Star Rail, for example, but when it comes to China, the drop is very noticeable. It goes from 60 million to like almost just barely 20 million. Right. Um, same with the like Genshin Impact, but with China, drop is not that much. Here with Genshin, drop is not that deep, you know? Withering Waves has pr been pretty consistent. Uh, that's pretty much like supposed to be like the Genshin competitor. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I don't know if you've heard about that game, but yeah, that's... I have. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I know... Do I um, no. Yeah, yeah. Because I know um, Faka and the others, or at least Faka played it at some point. Uma Musume is still holding strong. In this in these charts because this is only a japan game so yeah mm -hmm. uh and this but yeah this game is coming to uh the western side of things so i'm definitely looking forward to that fgo of course uh, made a huge jump because it is summer so um they went from 3 million ish to 10 million naturally and this is global 
right? And in Japan, uh, it actually went down a little bit. It went from 11 million to 9 million. That's interesting. Mm, wonder why. Very interesting uh, numbers there. Uh, Fake grand, and grand order in China had a big jump by 6 million. So it went from 2 million to about over uh, 8 million there. So, but yeah, Zenland Zone made a lot of money because, yeah, it's the hot, hot, the new hotness. Uh, it's the hot shit. Mm -hmm, the hot shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Altogether, it made about 100 million. So, China, of course, is the big one. And then Ch Global Blood plus Japan is like half the money there, or half China, the amount. China, China. Yep. Yep. China bringing in that money. Which is why they, uh, Hoyo is only trying to cater towards the Chinese audience of things, right? You know, dare I say, you know, is why they make certain characters, um, design in a certain way. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a whole situation, you know, I had to bring it up again, but the whole situation with Natalyn, right? It's supposed to be um, inspired from like West Africa or like just Africa in general and like the, uh, what do you call, uh, South American and like a bunch of things um, that have, yes, dark skinned people, right? But then you have characters that are, don't quite meet those um sort of cultural references i guess right uh so um you know because chinese players for the most part and other parts of the world or asia let's just say are more familiar with lighter skin tones which is why um you don't really see the darker skin tones on a number of those gacha characters right um when it, you know, I don't know if you've uh, have ca caught wind of that so that whole con controversy. Um, I mean, like, do you do you do you care about having dark skin characters in those gotcha games, or uh, what? What's your whole um piece on that or take on that? I mean, yeah, we should have some dark skin um characters. Mm -hmm. And, but when it comes to like, when you are blatantly, you know, you, um, referencing a, you know, real world, uh, what you call it? Not language, um, real world, uh, like culture, national, national, culture and yeah. Stuff. You, yeah. You, you kind of want to, you know, show some attempt. That yes you that you are yeah i mean there are tan characters but they're not, they're not like dark like they don't match the the people let's just say you know uh but do you feel like do you feel strong about you know the need for for dark, dark skin characters in your gacha games and because you you play a number of of the gacha games especially like f go and such like that so like do you like? I guess it depends. It, it, it depends. depends on yeah. what what the well for, first what the game is. Yeah, um, and then the character depiction because you know you want to do it. Um, I don't want to use the word tastefully, but you know, um, respectfully. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Because I mean, I could bring up um your favorite. Um, fake go character, but so like, yes, she's Mayan, and yes, they're from uh, you know, South Africa or I mean, South Africa, South America, yeah, South America, yes. So, you kind of want to stay within that, and then you know, sure, and there are history books of like what how the Mayans would look like or the Aztecs, mm -hmm. yes, and you know, culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So it 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 is that type of 
the mm-hmm. tightrope on walking. Yeah. Yeah. I think the issue too is, you know, people call for boycotting, but those same people are still playing Genshin, right? I think there's a, that uh, there's that problem as well. You know, I've I've said my piece in a separate video about the whole diversity thing. It's like it basically boils down to yeah, it's nice, but they're not gonna address that because they're only gonna do what brings in the money right and that's to please the chinese players and or what's familiar for for chinese players and that's for the most part designing these like lighter skin tone characters uh if not at most with tan skin and even then you don't really see that too often at least in genshin uh and um uh the other hoyoverse games you know but they're making a shit ton of money. So it's like, to them, in their eyes, it's like, why Why should we? Why should we worry about that stuff? You know? Um, And yeah, like, you have, like, the petitions being signed, like, oh, it had this many signatures and stuff like that. But the sad reality of that is that um, the Western numbers, right, for these games make so little that even if the boycott is done right quote unquote they're not gonna give a shit it's just a it's like a little little pebble right in comparison right because surprisingly when it, when it comes to uh player numbers it's japan that makes up for it uh that makes up the numbers and uh, china is like uh top 10 not so much top five surprising but money wise i think china is the one that brings in the big bucks you know so that's why they well rather to listen to them because they're like the big cash cow you know so um again like i like yeah it, like the whole dark skin thing is a it, it it is an issue but the issue that i have with this situation is that if you're gonna do something you gotta do it right right you can't just say, "Oh, I'm going to boycott this," but still play the game. You're not. You're not doing anything. You're not like contributing to your to your own cause. You're just like, you're just kind of virtue signaling. You're not even doing anything. You're just pretending, quote unquote, to um, give a care about it, right? Yeah. Maybe and maybe your intentions are to care about it, but you're not doing it right. You know? Um, oh yeah, but go free to play. That's not going to do anything because what you're doing is just adding to the player count right you are the player count and then the whales are the ones who bring in the money and in that sense you kind of are kind of like the plankton for the whales to eat as asman put um in his video so yeah it's it sucks to hear like that's not what everyone wants to hear but that's like i'm sorry but that's the reality of it you know I like my, uh, you know, I like dark skin characters. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. They, they are cool. Like, um, they, you know, variety is a spice of life, but, but that's not their priority. That's just kind of like, I don't know that like, um, when somebody sent in a complaint through like the survey or something, I forget where, but Hoyo came back and replied with, um, like, well, from a, representative of course from customer service saying that oh well genshin is um a fictional world it's a, it's not supposed to be like one-to-one with um the real world or whatever whatever but yes it's not supposed to be one-to-one then why are you having like you know these um elements mm-hmm. of cultures in mm-hmm. the real world right in your game then yes yes mm-hmm that that is my issue with that too it's like yeah like you you do say that but you are very much directly like taking these cultural references and like you know mavuika for example is mavuika is a, is a god that does exist um in legends but you know obviously it's not a real person so to say but but it's a it's a real legend oxymoron i know but that it's you know it's like saying like Hades or, or or Zeus or, you know what I mean, like. 
that's that's the stuff that we talk about right in real life yeah. but to yeah take these references and put them into your world right or to your story yeah you kind of want to take some liberties to you know respectfully depict these um things and such yeah. um but at the end of the day they're, they're, they're just gonna do what brings them the money what's familiar to them and if it's not broken why fix it kind of thing and sadly again the western side of things is such a small little percentage um let me see I, I'm, I'm gonna bring up the the genshin player count thing player now um yeah um let me see there's one by region oh yeah there you go this is like the infamous like chart that people have been using it to kind of like kind of burst the bubble you know when it comes to people like trying to boycott quote unquote the whole like diversity mm -hmm. thing um because yeah look at this japan south korea philippines russia taiwan malaysia they're like these are the top charts these are the ch top countries right when it comes to player counts china is down here ish right hong kong right and nowhere nowhere in this chart you see united states you don't see um you know like uh like brit uh, uh england excuse me you know the only north american country is canada right but they're on the bottom so they're like barely like a blip or in these like top charts or whatever it's funny because like yeah you have like Places like Lithuania, Costa Rica, and New Zealand beating um, the U.S. Right? Even Polaris, Polaris is like well, right under um, China and Hong Kong, Vietnam, Ukraine, you know, Kazakhstan, of all places, Indonesia, Chile, right. So, sadly, it it just got, kind of goes to show of how small we are and that also sucks because like any of our complaints right when it comes to the game of, of itself not just you know the, the skin color stuff um it's not gonna get answered either it has to be the chinese players or the japanese players that do the complaining and such that will get answered so um you know because it's so funny because uh i don't know if i told you but um there was a there was a problem with uh, New Valette. Uh There was a bug with him, quote unquote, that they tried to fix. But China was like, "No, uh, no, don't fix this. We're gonna uh, threat to sue you because this is a this is a, a fraud to consumer rights or whatever." And and then then Toyo was like, "Like they instantly backed off. All right, or all right, we're gonna re uh, reverse this update. We're gonna leave New Valette alone. And in fact, we're gonna give you a free temple." right that's how big it was that's how like like quick it was too it was like less than 24 hours they even gave us a, t a tent a free temple all of us not just china all of us right that's how much power yeah. china has for for hoyo you know it goes to really show so i'm sorry like i'm sorry to all the the people who are asking for like the dark skin stuff it's like like I respect the cause, but yeah, you can't. You gotta be. You gotta stop being so volatile on this stuff, man. It's and um and even then they're not doing it right because there are a number of players that are like, you know, I can't put the game down or I can't I can't stop playing or you know what I mean. Uh, oh, go free to play. It's like no, it's not gonna work because you're you're adding to the the um the player count. It makes it look good for the investors, right? Because Hoyo's gonna just gonna be like, oh yeah, we have these many players right now. You know? It's it's the sad truth, really. 
but hey you know that's all part of the money right that's how look at look, look, look at that money look at the hoyo hoyo games making that money they're still top yeah. right they're still within the top charts that's um kind of how the cookie crumbles man so all right sorry about the uh little little tangent there but it was it was related to the the topic though because money 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 you know money uh does a lot of talking for sure uh meanwhile there was word about pokemon company um or game freak are holding a big recruitment event at the end of august they're looking for new planners, designers, programmers, and artists, and more. And there is this uh, statement right here, if, in case uh, y'all want to read that. I think it's in Japanese, but let me see. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, yeah, this is for Japanese uh, stuff. But the fact that they are doing that, it, it is, I think, a good sign. Um, because, you know... You you and I both know. We play we play Pokemon games, you know. You you you've played a little bit of Scarlet and Violet, right? Yeah. You know, but you fell off uh I believe at some point, yeah. Is that is that correct to say? Yes. Yeah. And what do you what do you think is that? If it is broken, seriously. Broken, un yeah, un like unappealing. Unappealing. Do you feel like it's archaic at this point of what they're trying to do? It's pretty much they hit the oh shit button. We need to do something. A little too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, this is kind of like maybe a small misleading because people might look at it. Oh, they're hiring more people to work on the Pokemon. Because of the artist part is like, are you actually going to use actual artists for when you do those damn competitions? Mm. Or are you going to just have AI sneak in? Ooh. Yeah. Right. Uh, anything else you wanted to add or? Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, Simmons had this to say uh from yo vg um right here this is a very good thing spend your fucking money yes way past the point when you should have done it yeah so pretty much like what you're saying but hey at least there's some acknowledgement of your product desperately needing improvement so yes um they've done they've kind of like done the uh you know that old that same old formula for a very long time they haven't like really like taken into consideration all these like updates that people have been asking for until like now i guess but they don't even like do it right you know it's very clunky um old still um i mean for what it was it's it was all right I, I, I have fun with it, but could it have been better? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The execution could have been far better. Um, yeah, and also, it's like... I mean, it was nice to have freedom to go wherever you want, right out, right out the gate. Yes. But I'm old school for Pokemon. You know, just sent me on a linear path already. Like, like mm. the past GBA games and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Right. I think really, they just need to update like, what makes Pokemon Pokemon, right? Rather than just doing the same exact thing over and over and over again, right? Because yeah, it does feel old like, at this point, you know? Very old school even though they do code it with a different paint, right? Of making it oh open world and stuff like that, but man, the environment looks super plain. Like the 
bugginess, of course, does add to the negativity and such. Um, so I think, yeah, um, I'm, I am on the same boat with Simmons. It's like, yeah, it's, it is late, but at least you're doing something about it, which is better than nothing. But man, you should have done this long time ago, right? It looks like now they're getting with the times because the old guard um, are kind of like starting to uh, make their way out because, well, they're old, right? They're tired of it, you know? Um, they already kind of like got their fill, you know what I mean? Um, so I think it is, it does sound promising, but we'll definitely have to wait and see, you know? Kind of the same with like, you know, Robert Downey Jr., like, you know, let's like wait and see on that. But uh, the same thing here. Like, we can definitely have to see how this actually turns out. You know, are they gonna hire the right people? You know, the right experiences. Um, you know, because you don't want just like a ragtag group of people. You know, you definitely want people who love Pokemon, who actually like it, who want to actually improve it. Like, they got their own ideas, right? You know that'd be pretty cool so that's my two cents on that so hopefully that turns out good that's all i can say lastly um for those who are big fans of like the fa uh, the old fate satan stuff especially with the visual novel stuff right um it's being remastered so it's going to be ported to like um the nintendo switch and uh steam uh pretty soon i think it'll be out so it'll have uh english support chinese and japanese although sadly it will not be on playstation consoles uh strangely enough it's only on uh switch And according to this, um, Fate Stay Night Remastered will not include the 18 plus scenes from the original PC version. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> For those people who want that stuff, um, yeah. <laughs> Are not going to see that. Yep, either way, this is the OG, you know, Fate Stay stuff. You know, there's three different paths. Um, Sabres is just called Fate. Um, Rin, uh, Rin is um, Unlimited Blade Works. Sakura is Heaven's Feel. Hence, you know, the movies. Or the OVAs and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> well... Heaven's Feel is a three-part movie. Unlimited Blade Works is a series. Fate is also um, a series, although very, very old. So I feel like this should be remade or something at some point. On top of that, for Fate Stay Night, Fate... Um, I don't know if it's in the same place, but... Um, Hollow Autoroxia is also going to be remade as well. Remastered, if you will. So you'll see different characters like... Um, I forget her name. Is like Bazette or something? She was the original master for um, Kuu Kuu Lane. But uh, I think she lost Kuu to um, Koto Mine. And then she got... Mm -hmm. um, I think she got Avenger. At some point. So that is one of the things that happened in um, uh, Autoroxia. So it's going to be also out for Steam and Nintendo Switch. So that is the thing uh, for those who are big, big um, Fate fans. Yep, because that's where it all started. It all started with, um, or at least one of the starting points for Fate, which is the visual novel stuff. I am tempted to try this out, but I don't know. We'll see. 
if I have the time for it. Because, um, I try to get into, like, visual novel stuff, but I, it hasn't quite s stick to me mm -hmm. as well, right? Because, like, um, yeah. uh, I tried playing, uh, what was it, um, Danganronpa. Danganronpa, um, mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know, I, um, I remember, uh, uh, Ender slash Kate, right? Um, try to like get us get us into it, but I don't know. It just did not stick with me for some reason. But um, you know, I mean, I mean, I I can't say about my visual novels. They they have um, their stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, including hot 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 full boyfriend, right? <laughs> hey hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> then and then yes there was also um digimon survive was it was that yeah, the one survive. yes could have been better a lot better it could have been a lot better yeah <sighs> it's like... yeah it looked really promising too it looked really cool but um it was just like a pseudo visual novel experience and then the uh even like the tactical rpg part was like Oh, just corner this motherfucker and right here, and then you just attack from all sides. That's like the meta right there. <laughs> That's well, all. You... When you do it, new new game plus, all right, go go mega, mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking kill this rookie. Mm -hmm. War Greymon, yeah, He's... yeah, just kills the shit out of like everyone, pretty much. It's like it's like wait, that's illegal. Nah, mm -hmm. it's part of the game. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sadly, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do the true ending thing, the true ending route. But well, I, I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of go, gone. Uh, I'm over it. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of over the, the novelty. I'll probably just like YouTube it or something at some point. Um, I don't know. Visual novel stuff. It's kind of hit or miss. Uh, quite hit or miss for me. But maybe fate will do it. I don't know. We'll see. But um, hey, it's re being remastered though. That's pretty cool. All right, last one for the road, which is the visual entertainment and extras. So let's uh hit this one. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the boys. <laughs> yep. So this is gonna be the extra bit of things because this has to do with um the olympics that's going on right now so yep. there's been this uh shooter named y yusuf uh dekek dekek um i please forgive me for the butchering okay yeah <laughs> <That's> De <-ko>. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's been going around like wildfire because he just looks like an ordinary dude, fun, uh, funny enough, but he has, like, no special equipment. He's got nothing except for his glasses, right? And, you know, and, of course, the pistol. And uh, He actually won second place in the uh, shooter competition in, at the Olympics. So, in Japan, they've been calling him the free user Oji-san. Or, um, Mukakin um, Oji-san. Um, which... I'm yeah, sorry. I, I thought you said another another word. I was like, "Whoa!" No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, "It basically not rated R." <laughs> no, it basically means, uh, like, yeah, free user, free to play, like, you know, no money, uh, being used for video game stuff. Uh, Oji San, because, yeah, like he looks, he's like nothing. He's like he's got. No, like, special lens, the covers. Yeah, he has no, um, like, special equipment. It's just, like, he just walk there and go, like, eh, okay. Mm-hmm. Which is also funny, like, someone was trying to theorycraft that this might be, like, a retired, you know, like... Oh, um, Hitman or, like... <laughs> Hitman or stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's so... He looks so used to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very familiar, yeah. Um... 
there were pictures of him when he was younger and yes he has participated in these uh competitions for a long time so that's why he was able to do this like nothing so i think he's also won medals too at those competitions hence how he won so easily right um yeah so there's like all kinds of memes and just things going around about this old man so 51 year old old man so yeah they're like comparing him to like a lot of characters including um uh city hunter and like john wick and um just the whole free to play aspect of things um just a lot of memes a lot of fan art too if i may add I'm sure you've like seen your fair share on your yeah, end. Yeah, I, I, I've seen my fair share. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I keep forgetting. Like he looks like a like a celebrity. Too. He does. He kind of does. Like I forget the, the. It's like I see the face, but I cannot bring out the name. Mm -hmm. He looks like um like an older version of Rain Wilson, if he had hair and gray, and it's gray. To me. Kind of. Like, he kind of looks like that. Or, um... A little bit of, um... Oh, see, now I'm trying to get a little foggy. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It's like, it's it's at the tip of your tongue. Mm -hmm. You see the face, but you're right. like, what is your name? Yeah. Like, not exactly like Martin Scorsese, but maybe Martin Scorsese when he was, like, younger or something a little bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Um, but, yeah. No, this guy's been going around, like, on the internet, like, what, like, just all over the place. Oh. Now I know why he looks a little bit. Um, Anderson Cooper. Just a tad. Oh, yeah, okay, I can kind of see it. Like, his his face is a little on the wide side, but I, I can kind of see why. Especially if you put on these glasses. Definitely not exactly, but yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are comparing to him, um, Sakamoto. Because Sakamoto, um, his, or the anime for him is coming up um kind of soon so that's why he's yeah. been compared quite a bit and there's another picture of him you know yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah free to play yeah, free to play whale. Free to whale. <laughs> yeah this is another this is, the, this is the other person that uh has been talked about quite a bit I don't know if she's from like Korea or China. I, f I forget which one, but yeah, also very popular. And you know that the uh, like the um the oh, target is like actually small, like it's small. Yeah, very it's very not a small. Big ass target. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why some of these whales have um you know fancy uh equipment accessories. Yeah, but this guy <laughs> is just his glasses, man, and his eyes. You know, of course. Oh yeah, so she's she's from Korea, obviously. So I should have seen that, but um. Yeah, they're they're talking about her like for like a good minute because you they're like oh yeah she she's got uh main character energy or whatever right, but then this guy came along and and and, and uh she kind of like got swept up <laughs> in the internet popularity. Oh yeah, <laughs> he does kind of like yep. it. <laughs> yes, from Gintama. Yeah, see like the fan art right here. Um. Gearless Joe, yeah, from uh, Megalobox. Yeah, yeah, she she she's also been brought up as well. But um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, ballistic, yes, yes. Uh, also Vic, uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, Victor from uh, Tekken, Tekken Eight. So people still play Apex. I guess so, right? <laughs> <laughs> even yeah. after the fumble they did, was well, it wasn't even a fumble. Yeah, with the battle pass. Oh my god, that's that shit was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that fan art. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy, this person too, with the rifle, was also brought up, but not as much as these two for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Red Dead. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Oh man, you see this? <laughs> you got the old ass equipment, and <laughs> the girl has uh, all this like gamer gear and all that shit. The guy, <laughs> the scouter, <laughs> the big ass scouter right here. Oh, uh, that is extremely funny. Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, right. Yeah. Also from Korea. Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. What's with these, like, Koreans and the shooter portion of the competition? But, yep. <sighs> he has been quite the internet celebrity as of right now. It's just random 51 year old old Turkish guy. But yeah, he's no he he's no stranger, that's for sure. He's no stranger to the competition. It's just like he has no equipment, nothing. Uh let me see if I can like Google he's, him. He's see. he's the one. <laughs> the one, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um let me see. Okay. I want to find oh yeah yeah this is a good encapsulation of like how popular he is oh yeah apparently he's a cat uh cat person he likes cats okay yeah, you see that wake up <laughs> you're up you're up you're up look your cousin yeah, right here. <laughs> yep. Fan art. All this stuff. Yeah, Hitman. <laughs> Hitman. Yeah. I just wish they, uh, what do you call it? Um, it gets, th this stuff gets televised, but no, because this, hardly ever um televised because there's no u.s people making it to the top that's why they don't um uh what do you call it? put it on the big screen you know yeah and then you know uh i guess like even like a lot of the other shooters are kind of like they give off that energy that aura you know that guy from India. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the uh, rifle dude. With <laughs> his ass, like, he playing Bayonetta. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yep, that's uh, that's a small gist of it. You know, there's so much of this uh, old old guy. That's, uh, like I said, been taking over and shit. Meanwhile, also taking over is, uh, the, well, at least the marketing side of things is, uh, Deadpool Wolverine opening higher than expected with, um, 211 million domestically over the weekend, I believe. Um, 6 million above of what was reported. Six biggest domestic film opening of all time. Um, I, f I think I have another page for it. No, okay, never mind. I thought I did. My bad. But um, let me see. Oh, anyway, you watched the movie. Um, did you enjoy it? Is does yes. it live? Yeah, does it live up to the hype? Yes, it does. Okay. 
there's a lot of um kind of small homework you have to do okay. to understand some parts of the movie but it's not it doesn't linger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's pretty much bing bang boom done mm -hmm. um so i don't have to like this I, I don't have to watch any films before going into um deadpool right got deadpool wolverine no, no like you don't need to really understand loki like they, it's kind of like self-explanatory yeah they, they do their own self um what's it called exposition yeah or info dump um yeah. the only homework you have to do is pretty much try to remember um past fox movies that's it mm, okay okay that, that's pretty much it just remember fast uh past fox movies. yeah uh so yeah look at this right um Deadpool Wolverine right in the middle, right? Whereas you have Last Jedi, Force Awakens, Infinity War from Avengers, No Way Home, and Endgame just topping it, right? With Endgame being um three hundred and fifty five million. And um Actually it's just, yeah, it's the same same amount pretty much for No Way Home. That's actually kinda of surprising. I thought there was some difference, but mm. but for a rated R movie, this is the biggest one, right? For opening anyway, domestic and globally, I guess. Um, yeah, because look at look at the top three. It's all Deadpool, you know. That's funny. It is right behind it. Surprising enough, Joker is right behind it with almost a uh, hundred million. But uh, yep. yeah. That's so funny though. It's on the the last like the number ten, pretty much. Which is Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, look at this though. Um, The Matrix Reloaded is still uh in the top ten as a rated R movie, which I actually don't. I didn't even remember. Uh, Reloaded was a rated R movie. Wow. Same. I thought it was just a movie. Yeah, that was uh, like PG-13 or something. Mm -hmm. oh, that's surprising, actually. Uh, so, yep. Congrats on the strong opening so far. I'll try to go catch it myself um, next week during a weeknight. Hopefully there won't be uh, as many people. But I do understand like it, it was making a lot of noise, so that's why. Um, and I mean, plus I was like tired that w <laughs> that this whole week was a fucking mess. So that's why I'm like, uh, so hopefully by, by next week it'll settle down, but we'll see. I'll try to make my way to watch it. So, yep. So that means technically that'll be my first, um, uh, MCU movie in a long ass time. Quote unquote. Right. Cause it's still like, eh, is, is it, is it Fox? Or is it Disney? I mean, I don't know. Right. Well, so it it is Disney owned, but they're in the movie they are explain why it's Disney owned. So it, mm -hmm. it you'll fit you I cannot say shit because right. there's a lot of spoilers and the right. reason why this happened and this happened. Right, right. Yeah. It's it's a fun movie. You yeah. you you'll have a you have a ball. Mm -hmm. um, the opening, the intro to the movie is going to replay in your head when you go to fucking sleep. Because <laughs> it, it's that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of also, um, there's a lot of jabs to, um, to WB and, um, and other uh, companies. Like mm. a lot of jabs. And you're like... <laughs> Nice. He's like, well, WB can't say shit because they of, they yeah. are in in a shit hole. Yeah. A lot of jabs and roasts. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, um, yeah, as we record this, it's already in the second weekend, right? So, or no, well, oh, yeah, it's going into the second weekend. Yeah. Pretty much. 
we'll see how uh how the um what do you call the movie goers go hopefully it won't be as crowded once i uh get around to it yep congrats uh this one lastly another movie uh the live action until dawn movie is bringing back uh peter stormare right um he was like the doctor the yeah he was kind of like the doctor in uh until dawn stuff so that's cool um for those who care about the until dawn stuff um <laughs> The lifetime achievement that guy actor. <laughs> yeah. I mean to be fair, yeah, I I, I like them. I mean <laughs> I like him in a uh, number of movies. I remember he was in um like Bad Boys 2 and like uh so like th those like kind of movies. I forgot that he was in Black Ops 4 though. Hmm. Well anywho. Uh, any comment on the, this little bit right here? Don't suck. Yeah, <laughs> you literally have you know the the battle plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have Peter Stormare, so you can't fuck it, fuck it up, right? <laughs> How can you fuck this you up? You can't fuck this up, right? Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, my film real. <laughs> film, yeah. Yes. Yep. Alrighty, that's all I got. So. Yep. That's all I have. The only thing I have is, save for Banner to Unzendless. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And watch me go like, here we go. I didn't get it. No, oh, yeah. Well, if you're saying here we go, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you remember her, like how many like gems or whatever you have right on top of your head or no? Because I started the uh, you know the that month thing. Mm -hmm. I currently have one thousand something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I, I'm not kidding. Day one, I'm dropping 100 to see what my gotcha luck is in this game. Oh, man. All right. You're already getting... Man, man you're... You'd you're be like, well. You're already, like, digging your, your hole, your your little zone for um your Hoyoverse, man. I mean, yeah. I can't play catch up with um Genjin. Right. I can maybe can't play catch up with um Honkai. Yeah, Star Rail. Yeah. yeah. But... You already had your foot down for um, Zenless, so I mean, honestly, honestly, like th this is kind of like more more of your game because like um, the character designs, you know. I mean, is there anyone you really like in uh, Star Rail just from like looking at them, or? I was watching a video of I guess a guy was playing um, doing a boss run. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have them, but. All I know is that his his support skill was opening a can of um a sprite or something. Oh, like um, you're talking about soda. You're talking about Gallagher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, the fuck is that skill? You thirsty? Mm -hmm. Um, my throat is now now good. I was like, whoa, <laughs> wait, my <laughs> thirst is actual lie. My thirst is quenched. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one I saw, it was a. Uh, she had a great sword, I guess. And when she leapt in the. It was, I guess, her ultimate. She leapt in the air and there was a full moon behind her. And then she kind of just slashed down. Oh, you're, okay. Uh, not a great sword, but yeah, like she basically has a sword and it gets a little bigger with ice or whatever, right? Yeah. She's ice. Yeah, that's um, Jing Liu. Mm hmm. Yeah, she she's still kind of up there. She uh kind of caught power crept a little bit, but uh yeah, AOE destruction unit does good damage. Um AOE damage at that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's her. And, and then her. there's another one. I guess she's a true support. Um, she just puts everybody on a stage. Oh, that's Robin. She's, like, yeah, yeah, that's Robin. That she's really popular. Yeah, very popular. Because so uh, she's a yeah. buffer, I guess. She she buffs up um, follow up attacks. Uh, basically, yeah. Basically, characters who like do like extra attacks like periodically. That's what she supports basically. But she also just like she's a. I think she's just like a good general support. That's why she's like very highly placed in the uh, tier tier list. Uh, so she's just everywhere. She's the big utility um you um unit. Yeah, because she also buffs uh critical damage. So that's why, as well. As well. I mean, I, I found the video, so I, I'll show it after our podcast is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All and, right, all right. That's it. That's it. Yep. That's all she wrote for this week. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in for this episode. Always fun. So uh, we'll come back. Uh, I believe. Well, is there anything big coming up for next week? I don't think so, right? Because Gamescom is more towards um end of August, right? Yeah, end of August. Yes. So we're still waiting on that. And um. Yeah, I mean, unless uh, some random fighting game shit pops up, I mean, you know, whatever, you know, we'll cover it. So, yep. Uh, anyways, you guys take care, have a good one, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye. Again, my friend.